Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the regenerative cylinder circuit. Regenerative cylinder circuit is one of the special application which is used in the hydraulic circuit for the different requirements. Examples we are taken here: the excavator and forklift, where the regeneration is taking place and what is meant by regeneration what is the particular application i am going to discuss here and also at the end of the video i am going to show the animation of the working of this regeneration regenerative circuit cylinder here this is the circuit which is commonly used for the regenerative cylinder the regenerative cylinder consists of double acting cylinder and it uh, has the reservoir filter pump motor and the 4 by 3 direction control hall pressure gauge and setup hall and pressure relief hall these are the different parts of the regenerative cylinder circuit how it works we'll see first in this one one of the port is blocked the four way direction control valve in that one of the port is blocked uh, here the example is taken this port is two port is blocked at the three envelopes what happens uh, during its operation we will see that one at the central position at the central position one of the port is blocked therefore this the directing to the cylinder that is also blocked therefore the flow is directed to the tank through the direction control valve during the central position when the position is shifted to a right envelope and the, the here it is a blocked this port is blocked therefore here the, there is no flow the pump is connected here but the flow is not taking place in this direction and the, this is connected to a the piston end of the cylinder piston end of the cylinder here it will be connected and from that the return flow is taking place that is going to the tank that is going to the tank and here there is a one bypass line which is connected to a rod end of the cylinder and as this port is blocked, the flow is taking place through this bypass line to the rod end side and there the retraction of the cylinder is taking place. Retraction, the piston is moving from the right to left, that is the retraction. The retraction of the cylinder is taking place. And normally, okay, for the what distance the retraction is to be taken place, that will take and the flow from the blank end of the piston uh, black end of the cylinder that is going back to the tank. This is the in the retraction stroke it will works as a similar double acting cylinder how it is working and during the extension during the extension the direction control valve switched to a left envelope. Here this line is connected to a tank. This is, line is connected to a blank end of the cylinder and the return line this is the blocked as this is blocked there is no return from this side and the, here the pump is connect from the pump it will be connected the pump what is there the centrally what we have shown here that will be connected and during that time when the fluid is flowing from the pump to this blank end of the cylinder the extension starts taking place and the flow Fluid, what is there from on the rod end side that is flowing through this bypass valve and that is connecting to this pump flow and that is regenerating the pump flow. And here the pump flow that is a, the QR is the return flow and the QP is the pump flow. Both will be added. The total flow is flowing to the this blank end of the cylinder. Therefore, the flow rate is more 
compared to the normal operation of the cylinder. Therefore, as the flow rate will increase the speed of the extension of the cylinder, the speed will be increased here. The in order to increase the speed, we are going to use this uh, regeneration type of the cylinder. And here the total flow, how it will be in, have the more flow rate and how the working will be taking place that will be discussed with the animation but here the total flow rate what is that we'll take here the total flow rate qt entering to the piston end of the cylinder equals to the pump flow rate qp plus of the regenerative flow rate regenerative flow rate which is returning from the rod end of the cylinder coming from the rod end of the cylinder. Therefore, the total flow rate is equal to QT is equal to QP plus QR. Therefore, as the flow rate is higher, then the speed will be higher. Now, to have the higher speed of the extension of the cylinder when the return stroke has the normal speed, we are going to have the this regenerative cylinder circuit. And here, the explanation we can take for the regenerative circuit cylinder. The figure shows the regenerative circuit that is used to speed up the extending stroke. The speed up the extending stroke of a double acting cylinder, hydraulic cylinder. Note that pipelines to both ends of the hydraulic cylinder are connected to parallel and that one of the port of the four-way four -way valve is blocked. Okay, both the lines uh, to the blank end side as well as the rod and side both are connected parallel but one of the port is blocked. The operation of the cylinder during the retraction stroke is same as a regular double acting cylinder. Fluid flows through the direction control valve via right envelope during retraction and in this mode fluid from the pump bypasses the direction control valve and enters the rod end of the cylinder. It will be bypasses and enters to the rod end of the cylinder. The fluid in the blank end drains back to the tank through a DCV as the cylinder retracts. Blank end side fluid whatever is there that is draining to the tank. When the DCV is now we can see this is the last point what is there it is the for the regeneration that is when the DCV is shifted to the left envelope configuration. The cylinder extends as shown in figure, the extension how it will be taking place that is shown in figure. The speed of the extension is greater than speed of the extension is greater than that for a, a regular double acting cylinder because flow from the rod end QR regenerates the pump flow QP, QP provides the total flow rate QT which is greater than the pump flow rate to the blank end of the cylinder. Normal, it is greater than the normal flow rate of the at the blank end of the cylinder. Therefore, the speed will be increases. Here we can see the its animation. Here we can see that it's this is during the left envelope and this is the left envelope and this is the right envelope. Right envelope during that time flow from the In the left envelope, flow from the blank end will be going to the tank and bypassing the fluid is going to the rod end side. And during the right envelope, the right envelope, the flow from the rod end, the flow from the rod end, the QR will be adding to the QP and the total flow rate is going to this one. Going to the blank end of the, the total flow rate we can see here. Like this, here also we can see the retraction speed is less extension speed will be higher one the speed we can see the speed extension is higher retraction will be normal speed is there and as the flow rate increases the in speed also increases and where the this type of the application is required we are going to use the regenerative circuit cylinder now to have the extension speed higher and that will have the more work output from it and the different types of the other circuits also I am going to discuss in the further sessions. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe and comment.